Brian's Mobile One. Hi, I'm Brian. I've been a professional mechanic most of my life, and instead of telling you my whole life story, I'm just going to say that and show you where the timing marks on the 3RZ. Here they are. On the timing chain, you'll have two bright or two dark links, just like you see here, and then you'll have one that is opposite of the keyway. Top dead center leaves the keyway at the top on this engine, and the bottom is just exactly opposite. There should be a mark on it. On this gear, there isn't one, but on this one, here you are, on both sides. And so you want to have that plate of the bright one straddling that tooth right there. Tensioner for the main timing chain is on this side. The cam balance stuff, I don't have it, I deleted it. The LC Engineering Delete Kit. On the back side of the teeth on the cams, you can see that there's one dot on the left and there's two dots on the right. When those are lined up, you're good. And then also on this cam gear, there should be a line that looks like this and one single tooth. And then you'll have two little nubs if you're looking from the other side. You don't see it because it's blocked here, but that's what you'll have here. You got a little mark right here. It doesn't go all the way down on this particular brand. And that's your timing marks. You bring up most all of the slack with this tensioner guide here first and then this one is the one that brings up the rest of the tension to release the tensioner you can see there's a little pin and a hook it's kind of spring loaded and you can see the slope right here if you squeeze or push on the tensioner to tighten it and you'll be this will be floppy when your tensioner's out uh, you put the new tensioner in with it retained and then you can push against it uh, this way first and then it'll release and tighten in. A tip for getting the bolt off of this for when you're pulling the gear off, you can get the chain on and off uh, without removing this. Uh, but the best way to get this to loosen up without the torsion issue here is to put a dowel or something through there. You can use a half inch drive extension um, and then just use something spread out the weight like a snowshoe on each side here. You can, I've used the washers. Uh, you can use a little piece of soft aluminum plate is ideal and that'll get you where you need to be. That's your timing marks for your 3RZ. So that covers you for doing your cylinder head. If you need to do the cam balance ones, these are the marks for them and that's what this looks like. Uh, before you tear everything down, if you pull the valve cover off, you can see the cam lobes for cylinder number one, the first one on the front side. You look at the intake cam, and you can see how the lobes are pointing up at the spark plug tube. That'll give you that you're close to number one, or you can look at the marks on the cam, obviously. Um, if you look at the little cutouts that I showed you before, if you have one up and one to the driver's side, uh, talking American stuff, then you're on and on the crank if you're at the zero so it goes zero five ten fifteen twenty and so on so if you're at the zero here you could be at the top of the power stroke for number one or you could be at the top of the intake stroke so that's why you got to pull the valve cover to see otherwise and that's your timing marks for the 3rz thanks for watching be sure to click like comment and subscribe if you have any other tips or things you want to throw on the pile by all means, please do so in the comments. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Bonus footage at the end.